for problem solver Elisa Jaffe shows us that after this month's devastating floods, a whole community took that to heart. I, then I seen it coming in the front door, and uh, I told everybody just put everything up high and we're getting out of here. The Sprinkle family is digging their way out of a disaster. This creek was so high and powerful, it washed away the bank, brought in all these logs, and then it buried everything in mud, even these picnic tables. Well, like when Mount St. Helens went off, it, there was logs and debris everywhere, and that's what this looked like. Four groups from AmeriCorps spent their Martin Luther King Day of Community Service here shoveling mud. It's definitely heartbreaking to see these families who are still trying to recover from the flood two years ago or last year, and then they turn around and get hit again. But knowing that I have the opportunity to come help them um, clean up after the flood is just awesome. I'm sure lucky they showed up. That's what I think. Shovels are tough to come by in Glen Oma and Morton, where mudslides landlock the townspeople. Problem solvers pitched in shovels for the cause. There are not enough shovels. There, seriously, there are not enough shovels in this world to clean this muck, muck up. We have the Sprinkles have no flood insurance. Martin is recovering from surgery and can't yet work. I have $1,000 worth of Home Depot cards, so you can head into... Chehalis or Centralia and get go. Our furnace going again. Get your sure. furnace going. On this day of community service, the Sprinkles are grateful for every ounce of help. In Glenoma, Elisa Jaffe, Como 4 News.